Hi, it's Dwyer. It's Sunday, November 10th, 2019. Gamblersadvisory.com, free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. It's early in the morning, West Coast time, 7.47 a.m. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. First breaking news, I think it makes for a strong play. Matthew Stafford, the quarterback of the Detroit Lions, is out with broken bones in his back. They happen to be on the road against the Chicago Bears. Right now, you can get the Bears at a minus 300 on a money line. Right? Decent defense against some quarterback who <clears throat> is not going to be the veteran quarterback with Detroit. I like the Bears on a money line, a minus 300. I'm not going to play games with the point spread. I'm just taking the Bears on a money line at a minus 300. Let's talk about some other bets that I got earlier this week. In the Ram at Pittsburgh Steeler game, I like the under first half total, the under 21 and a half points. Right again, the under 21 and a half points. I don't trust the Pittsburgh Steeler quarterback situation, especially when they're facing people like Donald and that Ram interior. Right? Also, Connor's banged up. I just don't like Pittsburgh's offense. Keep in mind, the Steelers still continue to have one of the elite defenses in the National Football League. And to me, the fact that Brandon Cooks is having concussion problems. Folks, he might never make it all the way back. And the fact that the Rams are so overly reliant on Cooper Cup. And the fact that I really don't know what to expect from week to week. From Todd Gurley. Has me hesitant on the Ram offense in the first half. So I like the under 21 and a half in the first half of the Rams versus Steeler game. Let's talk about some other picks I like. You know, I'm just not sold on Kirk Cousins in big games. Um, I like the Dallas Cowboys at home laying three points against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Right? This is a point spread play I would make. I was impressed with Dallas's second half last week against my Giants. Right? While I'm not a complete Cowboy believer... They're catching the Vikings at the right time. Feelings banged up. They'll be able to, you know, focus on digs. I think the Dallas Cowboys minus three is the play there. Right? Let's talk about Monday night. Seattle at San Francisco. I just don't believe that the San Francisco defense is what it once was. Also, I want people to look at Russell Wilson's stats last week against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Right, Wilson really is having one of the great seasons of our lives right now. I believe he's thrown for something like 22 touchdowns and one interception. I'm expecting points to be scored. The play I like is the over in that game. Right, The over 47 points is what I got earlier in the week. In the game itself, right... Jimmy G is one of the best quarterbacks in the National Football League. He just doesn't have the reputation yet. You saw glimpses of that when the San Francisco 49ers played on Thursday night. I expect the Niners to win the game. I like the Niners on a money line at a minus 280. I'll agree. The point spread seems to be reasonably priced to me. So I like the Niners on a money line at a minus 280 against the Seattle Seahawks. Let's talk about the Buffalo Bills at the Cleveland Browns, the play I got earlier in the week. I like Cleveland on a money line at a minus 150. I have my doubts on the Bills quarterback, Allen. Right? I have my doubts. I also understand Cleveland has Kareem Hunt coming into the fold. Nick Chubb already is above average. Cleveland also has certain parts of their offense that seem to be underutilized right now. Uh, Odell Beckham Jr. Um, I just get the feeling that Cleveland has too much. They stumbled out of the gate against excellent opponents here. 
they were able to catch a decent defense. But they were able to catch them in Cleveland. Cleveland has had inspired games. Let's remember at one point this season, Cleveland beat Baltimore in Baltimore. I like Cleveland here on a minus 150 money line. So those are the plays I like very early in the week. I don't know what the line is right now. I was also able to get the Tampa Bay Buccaneers laying four points at home over the Arizona Cardinals. Now I'll agree. Kyler Murray hasn't thrown an interception in some prolonged period of time. But let me just say, Jameis Winston, I know he's been throwing picks. I've looked at the film. A lot of those picks are problems with the wide receiver. Right? Wide receivers not going to get balls. Right? Jameis is throwing the balls in good places. Wide receivers just aren't competing against the DBs. I think Jameis Winston is better than you realize. I think he's clicking with Bruce Arians. Tampa came close to beating Seattle outright last week. Tampa's now home. I like Tampa laying four over the Arizona Cardinals. Those are the games I like this week. Let us know in the comment section of this YouTube video how you feel about those games and your own picks for this week. Share them with gamblers. Lord knows it's late enough, right? The games tip off in a couple of hours. That's how I see it. Thanks for stopping by.